Now, however, that won't have any impact on the race for Honolulu mayor, where there's a clear margin on who the top two vote getters were in the primary. Rick Blangiardi and Keith Ame Mia will be advancing to the general election in November after beating out former Honolulu Mayor Mufi Hanneman and Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa, among others. Kimberly Speakman has more. Even though both candidates haven't held a political office before, both say they're prepared and ready to make major changes. I don't see that as a dis disadvantage at all. Um, and so uh, my career has been based upon working together with people, collaborating, and getting things done. That, to me, is what's important to our voters. This is a leadership job, and I've always been in leadership roles since I was a young person, and that's what drove me to make this decision. I perceive we had a leadership crisis on the front, if you will, among elected and even some appointed officials, and felt that I could bring something to the place that I love. While only time will tell where we'll be in the COVID crisis when the next mayor takes office in January, both candidates say they'll be ready to respond if elected. Trying to keep people from, you know, being evicted and with the resources we'll have and everything we'll have to do with that, both renters and homeowners, to feeding our people, to certainly working to keep. I'm really worried about the amount of small businesses that have been closing. We need to do what we can to curb that spread. Uh, we need to make sure people stay safe and healthy, and we need to make sure that we can try to reopen the economy as soon as possible so everyone can get back to work. KHON political analyst Dr. John Hart says these two candidates being on top means Hawaii is looking for a change, but it's up to the candidates to convince people of their new plan. In many elections in Hawaii, what we've seen is it's not the candidate that loses, it's the campaign that loses. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.